On the Health Watch tonight, there's a major change in the guidelines for a cancer screening that will likely affect millions of men. A government health panel is dropping its opposition to routine screening for prostate cancer. CBS 4's Kenneth Craig explains. Larry Blumberg's life changed when his doctor diagnosed him with prostate cancer last year. We're in time. He said, I'm not sure if we would have been in time if we you know, had done this a year or two from now. The 69-year-old's cancer was detected after Larry opted to have a PSA blood test, even though he had no symptoms and the screening was not recommended by the U.S. Preventive Services Task Force. Now, based on the latest research, the group says men 55 to 69 should have a conversation with their doctor and make a decision for themselves. Men can reduce their chance of dying of prostate cancer and reduce their chance of having cancer that spreads throughout their body. These are really important important benefits, but they occur in a small number of men. The concern has been that PSA testing results in overdiagnosis and overtreating cancers, which can lead to serious issues like impotence and incontinence. Dr. Herbert Lepore says advances in detection and closely monitoring low-risk cancers are helping men avoid drastic treatment. We can decrease the number of men who will undergo an unnecessary biopsy. Uh, and we have better tools to really assess the aggressiveness of the cancer. Larry needed surgery to remove his prostate. He's had some side effects, but says they're getting better. The side effects are nothing compared to the fact that, you know, I'm going to live a long life and enjoy my kids and my grandchildren. Larry is cancer free and his PSA is undetectable. In New York, Kenneth Craig, CBS 4 News. Now, the task force continues to recommend against prostate cancer screening for men 70 and older. Right now, these guidelines are a draft, and final recommendations could be decided in the coming months.